In 23 now, so the new September issue of Cincinnati Magazine, it's all about celebrating the oddities that make the Queen City great. So Claire, who's the digital ed editor of Cincinnati Magazine, joining us this morning with Gary Faulkner, Cincinnati's famous beard guy. Gary, I did not know that there was a Cincinnati's famous beard guy. I feel honored to have you here. <laughs> Thank you guys for having me. Yes, absolutely. Okay, so let's dive right in, Claire. Tell us, first of all, I, I love this idea, kind of the... Um, but yeah, like you said, the oddities, the quirks, the kind of weird, you know, stuff that only maybe Cincinnatians know. Tell us what you guys featured here. Yeah, so keep Cincinnati weird. I've always thought that the city was kind of odd, but in a good way. Yeah. I've always seen weird as like a compliment. I've never been like a regular, yeah, normal person. Yes. So I knew as soon as we got the theme, I was like, so number one, we need to have jungle gyms in there, obviously. Love it. Because Smart. You know, you're not going to get anything like that anywhere else. And I right. know the host of the Jungle Gyms podcast, so he was helping me out. Yeah. Another thing I knew we needed to have, uh, the Eel Pit guy. Okay, I don't even know that. So he's TikTok famous. He has a freshwater eel pond in his basement. Who he lives in northern yeah. Kentucky. Sure. <laughs> it's fantastic. That's amazing. And also, uh, we have a historian who writes for us every week, Greg Hand. Okay. His stories are always on the like weirder, quirkier, unusual side. So we had him write like three full pages that. full of weird historical stuff that we knew we needed to have. And then we were seeking out some other weird Cincinnatians and we came across Gary because of course. <laughs> yes, okay, so Gary, then let's get on to you. Tell me about, tell me a little bit about yourself, how this even came about. You became the crazy beard guy. Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> a lot of people probably recognize me from a lot of my Bengals beard things from the games. Yeah. Um, I get a lot of coverage, you know, nationally with the NFL and um, I also compete in the world championships of facial hair in wow. two years ago. Um, I, I won the first national beard and mustache championship in Congratulations. 2016. Nice. And uh, I was telling her kind of about that. I, and I got featured on the Jimmy Fallon show with Miley Cyrus after. What? And then uh, this yeah. past October, I just yeah. won the national championship again in Daytona Beach. And, uh, you know, what I do is, is art with our beard. My wife helps me a lot yeah. with everything. And, uh, it's normal to me, but people are always shocked when they see the designs and things we come up with. Um, and it's a, it's a very interesting conversation maker at the least. So I meet right. people from all over the world, anywhere I'm at. I, first of all, what a fascinating story. And I yeah. feel like that's, it's kind of indicative of what you all have in here, right? It's kind of like scratching the surface yeah. of something that seems cool, weird, different, and you the, know, eccentric. Yeah, and the, cool, and the cool thing is, as I was explaining to her, um, all the facial hair events are built around supporting local charities. Um, so anybody in Cincinnati uh, and they want to come out and check out an event with yeah. uh, a really good um, just overall crowd and they can see things for themselves and support charity. Uh, the Cincinnati Beard Barons have a contest coming up okay. October 5th at the uh, Southgate House Revival. October 5th, okay. Yeah. Very so cool. Maybe we can anybody, get someone out there for yeah, that. No, yeah. it's, it's a really uh, well done event. They Absolutely. do a lot for the community, a lot for veterans. So. Love that. And, and again, I love that you've said too, Claire, that they featured stories. They it, there, a lot of things woven in here. Yeah, yeah. So there's a few. Is there one that like sticks out that like sticks maybe out. sticks out to you or maybe maybe like a least known weird fact? Least known weird fact. So one that I really enjoyed. <laughs> yes. And like a weird like a a weird way. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yes. Is in the late 1800s people were like going to abattoirs and butcheries with like glasses to just like drink blood. Wow. And like a, <laughs> it was like a health kick yeah. of some kind. And I actually- Isn't that amazing? Like people thought that they were benefit, you know, I mean, just before, yeah. before we had, I mean, even like the internet or <laughs> enough science to be able to establish probably shouldn't drink yeah. blood. And they were usually going to like these kosher butcheries because like, Blood isn't kosher, so they were like, "Yeah, take it for free." I don't know why you want to drink that, but go for it. Wow! And this was this was in Cincinnati, so this yes. is odd. See, and you know what? It's it's facts like that. At least, just speaking, it's ones that I remember. You know what I mean? We learn a lot in history class and social studies and all that. It's the ones that are different, unique, odd that I'm like, I love those little yeah, facts. They, they, they left that one out. I didn't hear that story. Yes, <laughs> exactly. Thank you guys so much for coming in and talking with us today. Uh, that's going to be out. Is it already out? Uh, it's September been sent out to subscribers. Okay. It will soon be wherever you usually pick up the magazine. Beautiful. Kroger, Joseph Beth, place All like right. that. Perfect. Cincinnati Magazine, September issue, the weird issue. I love it. I can't wait to take a look inside. Appreciate you guys. 1027, we'll be right back.